Welcome to Fret Reps. Today we're going to introduce triads, a chord made of three notes. As simple as triads are, they're also complex when you really get into it. So I'm going to break it up into a series of videos. This first video will introduce triads in its most basic form, the 135, on the top three strings only. Videos after this one will be going in deeper, showing different shapes on different strings, showing how they relate to chords on the C major scale, and how you can switch triads horizontally, vertically, as well as in an angle. Each video will continue where the last one left off. When you have finished watching this triad video series, you will have a new understanding of how everything is related. Prerequisites Hand Patterns Video Neck Labels Optional Watching these two videos first will make this video easier to understand. Triads are the magic that builds chords, arpeggios, harmony, and melody. If you want to know your guitar neck, scales are just the avenues, but it's the triads that make music. If you stick with this series, you'll get a solid understanding of triads. You'll never be lost on the neck, you'll understand harmony, and you will be magic. But before I can tell you about triads, you need to know about dyads. Dyads are two notes. You could play any song with dyads, so guitar could be played with only two fingers, if you wanted to. There are two types of dyads, the first and the third, and the first and the fifth. Well, to be honest, any two notes are a dyad, but you'll go a long way with only these two. So let's look at these two dyads. The shapes you're looking for are the minor third, the major third, the fifth, and the fifth with the octave. To get an idea of the octave and fifth, think of a power chord, the one five and the octave. That's two dyads, the one and five and the five in the octave. So if you play the one on one string, all these options can be found on the next string. This would be the minor, the major, the fourth, and a fifth. A fourth is just a five octave of a different chord. This will be handy to know later on. Now, how do dyads relate to triads? Simple. Every triad is made up of two dyads, a major and a minor, a minor and a major, two minors, and a power chord. All chords are made of multiple dyads. Here's an example of playing only dyads with only two fingers. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Triad Basics Here are the basics of a triad, playing only the top three strings and starting on A like we always do. Starting with Hand Pattern 1, which you learned in the Hand Pattern video. That's A, B, C. Your pinky is on the C. Now pivot on your pinky and rotate the hand so the first finger is two strings down. Your ring finger should be on the second string down. Now you have a straight line going in an angle. This is your first triad and it's a C major chord. All these triads will take its name from the pinky note. Leaving your hand in the same position but playing hand pattern two, you're still on the C note but it's now a minor chord. Those two fingers in the middle that are the difference between a hand pattern one and a hand pattern two are what make a chord major or minor. If you notice the C minor has a black note under it, this just means that there is no C minor in the C major Ionian scale. More about why in the next video.
horizontal triads. For now, I want you to move your hand up or down the neck, playing only the top three strings. Focus on your pinky. As you move your pinky up or down the neck while following the white notes only, the other two fingers will also land on a white note only. It'll either be a hand pattern one, a hand pattern two, or a hand pattern three. Simple, right? Only one triad will be a hand pattern three. For those following along with the fret labels, you'll find it soon enough. This is the basics of a triad and how the order of the chords are related to the scale. This is how you find what chords are available to you in that key. As you go up and down the neck, listen to the chords. Count the notes starting with C as number one. Going up one note is number two. Play in order up and down the scale. You can play it as a chord, all three notes at the same time, or as an arpeggio, one note at a time. It may be tempting to play the next set of strings because it's easier to get to that note. Take it as a challenge to limit yourself to the top three strings. There's one last thing I want you to practice repeatedly. Using hand pattern one, start on C major. Focusing on your pinky and move down four white notes using the same hand pattern. This is a G major. Normally you don't play a G major this way, but for now, just do it this way. This will strengthen your pinky. Then move back up to the C major. Then slide up four white notes to the F major without changing the hand pattern. Then slide back down to the C major. Always use hand pattern one. Those are the only chords on those three strings that you can have a white note under each finger of hand pattern one. Here are some interesting things about this chord combination. It consists of the 1-4-5, the most popular chord combination on earth. Also, these are all the major chords available to you on the C major scale. There are two minors between each major. If you play the diminished as a dyad, and probably the most interesting fact about this combination, one that will do you good to remember, is where they are positioned. The C major is in the middle of the scale and the only other majors are on each end of the scale. Of course, this is referring to the E string on the guitar instrument only.